So let's open up the can of biscuits on NBA greats Al Harrington and Larry Hughes' partnership to expand his cannabis brand, Viola. What is this going to mean for the people of St. Louis? Well, according to Larry Hughes, it's going to help a lot of people. <laughs> but no, shout out to them, uh, especially Al Harrington, Jersey native. Uh, I remember watching him play ball when I was younger. He came out a couple years before me, but... Um, yeah, man, it's, you know, I think it's going to be cool um, from what I hear. Al Harrington got a huge company. Viola is a, is a big, big um, cannabis brand, probably one of the biggest black brands, you know, around. And um, he's just growing and he's using his uh, influence with his old teammate, <laughs> uh, Larry Hughes, and going to where he's from. He's Larry Hughes is from St. Louis originally. So, um I think it's dope, man. You know, uh, no pun intended. <laughs> I think it's a good look. Um, again, they're going to, the plan is, is I think it's just medical there. So, um, but they're going to open up a couple dispensaries um, starting in the spring of 2021. And, you know, this is how you do. This is real business. And I'm, it's just good to know that somebody played in the league for years and, you know, they're, they're actually doing well. They took the money and was able to do something positive with it, and they're not like on the street. <laughs> and because they, they, the people tell a lot of those horror stories, you know, and they don't have no problem with telling those horror stories. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy that we can talk about something um, positive that's coming out of that, you know, that long. He had a decent career, man. He played more than 10 years. And so to know that he's doing very, very well, um, I think that's, that's a great look. Do you think he's going to possibly expand his business to his home state, your home state as well? I'm sure he's like chopping the bit right now, especially since the news dropped uh, like a week or so ago. So I'm sure <laughs> I think that this Larry Hughes thing was probably already in the wait works. But boy, look, I, I would totally be shocked if I don't hear soon sometime in 2021 or very, very soon after that he's making some moves in New Jersey. You know, I'm sure of it. You know, I, I, I can really count. Yeah, I can count on that. I think he's definitely going to be going over there. It's going to be a lot of people coming home. Redman is from New Jersey. Come on, man. You know he got to come back and do something with that. I, I, it's, it's going to be fun. You know, it's a good time to be uh, in the cannabis world to be from New Jersey because it's going to be a lot going on. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing about it. So speaking of sports players, we've covered, you know, a few more NBA players on Cannabiscus blog as well. Do you think that's because of the correlation between the medical benefits of cannabis where we're starting to see more NBA players and other sports figures enter into the industry? No, I think that that, that a lot of people were smoking weed, <laughs> you know, all through their careers. And um, they now it's legal. You know what I'm saying? And then... They are the ones um, who have the means. You know, when they say something costs 100K, 200K, 500K, they got it, you know, or they have the relationships with individuals who have it. And so um, they're able to just pounce on it a whole lot faster than the average um, Joe from the street. So at the end of the day, I think, like I said, more people than you want to believe that that's NBA, NFL, or whatever, sports players smoke weed, been smoking weed. Um, some for medical reasons, some just because that's just what they do. And now it's legal in places because a lot of them retire and go to California, retire and go to, you know, um, you know, those type of places. And they're just kicking back like, OK, bet. Now that it's legal, I can let it be out there. Well, I don't play no more. I can tell you that I smoke as much as I want to tell you. You know, I, I don't got to hide. I don't got to take something so I can pass a piss test. You know what I'm saying? Those type of things. So I think they're just, um, they're having their day right now. <laughs> and you got to get, hey, look, they beat it out. Some people didn't make it. Some people got had to get kicked off the team. Some people had to, you know, have, um, you know, go to jail sometime. You know, getting caught, you know, driving in a car. The ones who made it, they made it. You know, they made it. But it, trust me, it's way more than them. <laughs> But some people just didn't make it. And I'm happy that the ones that did make it, you know, they, they, they're they actually doing it. And they're actually using it to make money, not just being dopers. 